Hello everybody, my name is Manny Crazy Gold and today we have a rogue specific farm. So you can only do this farm if you have a rogue, so make sure you have a rogue leveled up. So at least level 40 or above, it's fine to pickpocket these mobs right here. You get a chance of getting the loaded gnomish dice which sell from anywhere from 10k to about 50k or more servers. On my server it's going from about 30k. Uh, so I thought I might as well make a video about this as the prices are going up as nobody's farming these. So there is a bunch of different dices you can farm up. But today I'm just going to go over this one only. And then later on sometime I'll make a video about the other two dices uh, as well. So to farm for these gnomish dices you'll need to make your way to the Alderman area. And just come down here to this location on the map. I have the coordinates on the screen as well. So over here you will need to pickpocket these infantry mobs in front of me. And they will have a small chance of dropping these gnomish dice. So I've got a tip here for you guys as well. Just sap the elite infantry man. And he will stop the rest of the other mobs from moving away. If you sap one of the other mobs they'll continue to walk on as you'll see. So make sure you just sap the elite, it makes it easier, you can just stand right next to them and then pickpocket all the mobs. And you will need to have the right spec to do this as well. So make sure you guys spec as the assassination spec. The reason why you need this one here is because of the AOE attack as well. So it's called the fan of knives. Uh, this will just basically attack all the mobs in your area. So after you pickpocket the mobs, kill them, and then just make your way all the way up. And uh, obviously I'll show you the route in a second. So make sure you've got the fan of knives on number one, without stealth. Uh, number two have stealth, and that's all you need. And then once you go into stealth, make sure you have fan of knives again on number one. Uh, and then have a macro, this one right here, which I'll tell you in a second. And then thirdly, have sap. So the macro, so I will leave this in the description and you guys can simply just copy it and then use it when you do the farm as well. So that being said, let me just show you the route. I can do this. Um, I'll speed up the video whilst it's running around. And then after that, we'll do the end result and show you what else you guys can get from here. Okay, so that's done. What you're gonna do now is after you've done that, the whole area, just go back to the beginning again. And then once you go back to the beginning, you get a fresh set of mobs. Just pickpocket them, and then uh, just simply go through the same route which I've been through, back and around, around, around. Uh, I did it for about two hours. Uh, this farm so far, not got one dice. Uh, I think my RNG is really bad today, so I didn't get any dices, but it is a really, really good spot. And as you can see, they've reset it again, and you can obviously just pickpocket them again and kill them. 
So if you don't kill them and you just pickpocket all the mobs, if you come back down here, so half the mobs, you you might be able to pickpocket and the other half it will say that you've already pickpocket them so make sure you just kill them makes it much much more easier on your part so you can simply just come back down and rinse and repeat so i've been obviously finding this for a lot of time i've gotten 163 flamed junk boxes simply you can just lock pick them and open them up it does have a bunch of rubbish items and it does have some good items that you can sell to the auction house. So really, I don't think the junk. So I don't think the junk boxes are really that worth it. Obviously, you're getting the Deathwing skull fragment. It's going for five gold. I'm pretty sure it's region wide as well as they are a crafting reagent. But yeah, so really that they ain't worth it to open up. But maybe who knows? There might be some other items in there that you could pull out of. Uh, to get the gnomish dice, however, you have to pickpocket the mobs. If you're lucky enough, they should drop it. Um, obviously, I've been here for about 2 hours and 20 minutes now. And I haven't gotten anything. It's just RNG related. Uh, in the auction now, it is selling for 30k for the Norwich dice. So if I was you lot and you want to try this out, just give it a go. It's very easy to do. Video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.